Hey, North Point kids, happy Resurrection Day. Happy Easter, however you choose to say it in your home. It's a special day as we celebrate our risen Savior. So if you are joining us for the first time, my name is Amy Van Putten, and I lead the children's ministry here at North Point Church. And I just want to thank you for joining us for the special children's message on such a special day. So you're going to need a couple things. You are going to need a hard-boiled egg and a marker. So you can either stop this video now and hard boil an egg and let it cool off and find a marker or you can come back later. Either way, it doesn't matter. So the first thing I want you to do is just kind of look at your egg, okay? My egg is kind of different colors, like it's not at all white, it's not real smooth. So I know some of you have chickens at your house, so your eggs might be brown or they might even be dirty. So the first thing is just kind of feel your egg and then I want you to take your marker and you are gonna write some sins on your egg. So you might be saying, Miss Amy, what's a sin? So a sin in its simplest terms is anything you say, think, or do that goes against what God says in the Bible. So things that would make God unhappy. An example would be like the Ten Commandments where God says, do not steal and you stole something, that would be a sin, okay? So we're gonna pretend that we're a church and we are gonna fill up our eggs with some sins. We're gonna do this together, okay? So tell me some sins. Lying, yes, lying is a good one. We are always supposed to tell the truth. All right, who has another one? Stealing, yes, stealing would be a sin. We're not supposed to take things that don't belong to us. All right, we've got that one. Who has another one? Kill? Yes. If you killed someone, that would be a sin. So we have lying, stealing, killing. All right, who has another one? Disobeying parents? Yes, that would be a sin. Um, it says in the Ten Commandments to honor your father and your mother. All right, who else has one? Is jealousy a sin? Yes, jealousy is a sin. Uh, we're, it says in the Ten Commandments too that we're not supposed to covet, which means we're not supposed to want what other people have. So think of some more sins. Fill up your egg. You could talk to your siblings. I'm sure your parents could help you. But I just want you to fill up your egg with sins and so your egg starts to look not so pretty. And even as I'm writing these sins, my the ink is starting to smear making my egg a mess and actually making my hands a mess so you guys are doing great get that egg filled up with all of our sins and as soon as you have that done we will get to the next part take a look at your egg and now it's all ugly and smeared and full of black ugly sins that you listed on your egg. So I want you to think of this egg as your heart, okay? A heart that is full of sin, it's ugly, and it's not following Jesus. And Jesus is not living in your heart, okay? So that's why Jesus came Jesus was the Son of God. He lived a long time ago, but he lived on this earth, just like you and I are living on this earth. He taught people how to live. He taught people how to love other people, and he taught people how to follow God. He knew that we are sinners, and he came to take the punishment for us so that we could live in heaven with God someday. So Jesus didn't come just to live with us, but he came to die for us, for everything that's on your egg and even things that are not on your egg. So now comes the fun part. We're gonna peel our egg. So you're gonna take your egg and you're gonna very carefully just kind of tap it 
on the table so you get kind of a little crack. Mom and Dad might have to help you. And you're going to start peeling the shell off your egg, okay? Sometimes eggs peel real easy. Sometimes they peel real hard. But we're going to peel off these sins off our egg, okay? So I'm peeling mine. Coming off not too bad. A little messy. So we're going to peel off all these sins. Almost got them off. Mine didn't peel perfectly, but that's okay, because we're not perfect, right? So where are your sins now? All my sins are here in this big pile, okay? And what do I have? I have a nice egg that's nice and smooth. Doesn't have any more black, ugly stuff on it, okay? All those sins are gone. So in our demonstration, yes, I removed those sins, but it's ultimately God that takes away those sins. If we ask God to forgive us, if we tell him how sorry we are for our sins, he is so quick to forgive. And how we want to have a nice, shiny, smooth heart that has Jesus living in it. So in closing, kids, if you want to have that shiny, new, clean heart and a heart that has Jesus in it, I'm going to invite you to say a prayer with me at the end. And if you're not ready, if you have questions or there's things you don't understand, ask your parents. I'm sure they'd be more than willing to help you. I am more than willing to talk with you. I would love that opportunity. Uh, even Pastor Jason or Pastor Scott. I'm sure would talk to you as well. But I just pray that you know how much you're loved by our church, by all those who serve in the children's ministry, by me, but most of all, how much you are loved by God. And parents, if you would like to do this prayer with your kids privately as a family, that's fine too. But um, we're going to close our time together in a prayer. And kids, if you would like to pray it with me, um, I invite you to pray along. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for how much you love me. You love me so much that you sent your son to die for me. I know that I sin. I know that I mess up. And I know that I do things that I shouldn't do. I want to follow your commands and I want to live a life that follows you God Jesus come into my heart come into my heart to stay amen till we see each other again have a wonderful day love you bye